we now see the body of the Ankylosaurus from last episode. And finally get a good glance at its killers. <laughs> a trio of subadult dash Bledosauruses. The younger the youngest brother, Daryl, the older brother, Danny, and Darla, the older sister. They have been over hunting in this area recently. And this Ankylosaur is just one of their many kills. They have plenty of uneaten carcasses. But finally, it seems someone may be trying to take some of their food. This adult female Albertosaurus. <coughs> whom we have decided to dub Miltricia. <coughs> she has a nest of eggs who, that will soon hatch and she needs them to be well fed. And she thought... Why not get food from the best place? Danny is keeping watch while his siblings eat, which makes him the perfect target. Danny, Danny is easily forced to the ground. But it seems his siblings don't want him to become one of their carcasses. <laughs> no, Trisha could take on one of the Dash Spleosaurus, but not all of them. <laughs> but she has shown them that their sports hunting will not go unnoticed. In, a, in, by, in the salt lake, a non-dinosaur is roaming. A deer. Not a very common creature on the island, considering how they were pretty much hunted to extinction by the dinosaurs. But it seemed this one was about to join her family. <coughs> the deer makes a plank for it. Forgetting that her surroundings are just rocks. <laughs> the deer has broken nearly every single bone in her body. She will not live any longer. And now we can see the skillful hunter that killed this deer. He is a Vagisaurus named Ryan. He lives on these on this rocky cliff and normally uses it to kill his prey. It's not very easy to get around, but it's good enough. And good enough is all you need to survive on Dinosaur Island. Food, water, and no natural predators. And you pretty much win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.